Yo, what's up, guys? We got Pokey in here. We got an RU showdown lab because Meloetta is being suspect tested in the tier. Now, truthfully, uh, Meloetta is not the first Pokemon that comes to mind when I think of RU and suspect test. Mega Blastoise definitely is. At least, I think at least it deserves a suspect test. Not that it deserves to be banned, but I think it does. Uh, but yeah, they're suspect testing Meloetta. Not sure how I feel about it. Maybe we'll decide as we keep laddering. Who knows? Obviously, you guys can let me know down below. Uh, I'll link the thread right here. Uh, but we're on um, an alt, and I'm using Stack Attacker, so I guess you can take this as Enter Stack Attacker, or Welcome to RU Stack Attacker, my boy Ronald's boy passing his team. Uh, typically on the lower ladder, I'd be using Spike Stacking, but I figured Trick Room Stack Attacker would be pretty good too. Though, yeah, it's fantastic in this matchup, and it sets up versus Florius, so that's really solid, and yeah, I like that, I like that a lot. Uh, Pangoro is a huge threat though, very big threat, very, very big threat. At the same time, my opponent does not have... What is this? Get out of here. My opponent does not have very many Moonblast switchings. Uh, his best switching, besides Salazzle, which I don't count as a good one. Um, actually, it's pretty good versus me. But uh, besides Salazzle, Florgus. Uh, so I like Florgus as a lead because I can just click Moonblast freely. I feel like once I st set up a Trick Room with Stack Attack, I can win. And I want to do that on Florgus. I do want my Rocks up to maybe... Uh, weaken Rhyperior and weaken Pangoro. I think this will die to Gyro Ball. This will die to Gyro Ball. And this might even die to Gyro Ball, to be honest. But Earthquake. Uh, I can also continent to crush this as well. I just got to weaken Rhyperior and Pangoro. I don't feel like calculating what the damage is, but I'm going to say, what's that? Adrian? Bro. I'm sorry. I was just forming a game plan. I'm sorry. Once these are at 60%, I'm pretty sure they die. In fact, I think Rhyperior is going to die no matter what. Uh, what's that, like 80%? But is he back? It, it doesn't look like he came back. But yeah, as far as leads go, uh, Florgus gives me the best lead matchup versus Pangoro. Uh, as the dude just completely counter leads me. Alright, don't come back, bro. We good. We good. You, you, you good. You gooch. Now, uh, Milotic is a decent option if he's sub uh, toxic. Uh, but for the most part, they're nasty plot from what I've seen. So, uh, and I don't want to risk flag on an HPI. So I'm going to go Milotic here. Uh, I don't think he's going to come back, so we're going to look for another battle. Big ol' Adrian did not like the time I took to give my thought process. Uh, luckily, luckily, I don't know what we're fighting. That Raticate is not okay, by the way. <laughs> Y'all see him? Uh, another thing where Trick Room could be really good, uh, setting up versus... I can't set up versus any of you. I can set up versus Raticate. Flame Wheel is like the best thing I could do to hit Zack Attacka. I'm pretty sure Gyro Ball blows everything away, even though they're all like base 10 speed. Besides this thing, this thing's really fast. 322 speed, if I'm not mistaken. Um, here's a ground type in Marowak, which is a little bit problematic. I love Raikou as an initial lead. Don't worry, bro. I'm getting to it. At least you're here. I appreciate that. I love Raikou as an, uh, as an initial lead because it can just Voltage versus most, and if he leaves Marowak, it can get in my Torterra or even my Lodic. My Lodic also soft checks everything on his squad. I think going towards a stack attack at endgame is still really solid here. Uh, just gotta set up on this Pokemon. Maybe some rocks to, to weaken Torterra. Or Torterra. Excuse me, I have a Torterra. But to weaken Torkoal for uh, for Continent to Crush. Because I don't think that KO is it from full. Because Torkoal is really bulky. Huh, how do I want to lead the rest of this guy? I love Flygon. Because Flygon pressures something out and just U-turns. That's it. And I can switch appropriately. Like if he leads off with Shinotic, I can go Torterra and get up rocks. If he leads off with Tor... Torkoal, I'll go out into my, uh, interesting, I'll go into, no drought, I'll go into my, uh, my Melodic, because now I don't even think he's gonna be, like, a, a shell smashing set, I'm pretty sure this is just ro uh, Rocky Helmet, Rocks and Rocky Helmet, I have Refresh on this thing, so I don't really care about Toxic, Lava Plume is whatever, Burning Me actually means that I'm gonna wall all of his team, I just wanna say that, so we'll throw off a Scald here, um, I think once I get a Brox will be fine. Octillery comes out. I know this thing has access to Bullet Seed, Energy Ball. That's a great move pool, to be honest. I think it'd be a fantastic Pokemon if it was uh, fast. Like This is like the forgotten Pokemon, but it can't break through Florgus for the most part. As he doubles out to Raticate. Okay, boy. I see you. You know, SD. My Lodic takes the hit. This is the Pokemon that I Gyro Ball on. Like, I, I set up in Gyro Ball on, but... Can I go hard into it? I really don't think... I have four times resist. I really don't think I'm taking anything. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I'm taking this, too. I'm gonna trick him up in your face. This facade is not doing more than 40%. There is no way. I'm gonna trick him up in his face and blow him away. 
You know what? I ain't got, I ain't got time to miss. I'm in a hurry. I want to beat your team right now. Let's go. I'm going to drop a Continental Crush. I was going to save this for Torable, but because I do have uh, Aromatherapy support and he's not in the sun, I think I can afford to risk a Stone Edge versus that. Uh, I think this dies. I'm going to be honest because Gyro Ball is incredibly strong, but I always talk about Marowak and I always bring it up. It's just the type of Pokemon that when it comes in, it's just... It just has a chance to live the attack, you know? I, I feel like it always lives the attack. I don't know why I was putting low 50, sorry. Yeah, like, that does not do enough. That does nothing. Alright, go to our terror. This goes for Boomerang. Uh, just drop a wood hammer. Doesn't matter, I love Torterra's ability. I'm surprised I'm using it in RU. That's not gonna do much. Go ahead and give me this wood hammer damage. All right. And like I said, it's that Pokemon that will always live a hit on just a smidgen, man. This is a wood hammer. Click rocks randomly, just in case he misses Boomerang. Yeah. And uh, a few Pokemon I can go out into. My Lodic and Scald. I have Hazel in this metal work, right? Nice. Uh, but getting rid of that means I can potentially... I mean, Shadow Ball is probably better versus his team than Thunderbolt, if I'm being real. Uh, but we can get out big old my Lodic here. And scald. What you got for this? Radicate? I don't know, man. I feel like this is going to be 2 ako would yep. You know, I eat this attack, too. I don't care if you go for side. I have Marvel Scale. I'm burnt, too, and I don't mind. Yeah, 37. Marvel Scale is busted. That's a great ability, man. I love competitive, too, on my little, but, eh. I think Marvel Scale is just so good. Especially with burns. You ain't doing crap to me. I'm going to recover on you. 36, yum. Do I have any status on this team? I'll Skull burn him and then get in my stack attacker and then double out to something, maybe Flygon to let him sleep it. Because right here, he's not doing anything to me, right? I can technically stall him out of these. Especially between this and Wish Support, right? So I feel like if I'm going to do anything, it's going to be... Uh, I'm going to recover up to basically the next amount, which would be the highest I think I can get. Well, actually, two more recovers give me at the highest I can get. And then... Uh, I go Florgus into Flygon because I want him to sleep Flygon. Right? If I go Flygon into Florgus, he's going to Moonblast. I guess it gives me the same thing, but... Alright, nice. So we'll go Florgus into Flygon. Uh, if he sleeps here, great play. But yeah, look at Shadow Ball and look at his team. Spec Shadow Ball is do doing some good damage. This is Alice. Ooh, like Alice in Wonderland. I like it. No! No! Oh, crap. Good play. Uh... It's fine. Raikou doesn't give him any openings for anything. Like to come in if he wants to go Musharna. Yeah. It's better to do some damage. What if he's combine HP fighting? That did 45%, man. Oh boy, you cannot touch me though. Are you Trick Room Combine Recover? Like, yeah, he's Trick Room Combine, but I don't think you're Trick Room Combine Recover. I want to make a raw play, which is going hard stack attacker because I want this Pokemon alive. I'm risking it, man. You ain't, you ain't HP fighting here. Yeah, you ain't HP fighting. This Gyro Ball says it's 45 to 137. All right, the Stone Edge <laughs> has an 80% chance to do 150 damage. Well, based on, you know, stab and whatnot. I don't think it would do 150 damage, obviously. But yeah, this thing wrecks him, and I kind of need this thing for Shenotic, so nice. Ah, all right, get my bees booze. And I can just click Gyro Ball and something coming in. I'll take it. Boy, if you don't give me this Pokemon right now. Go ahead and give me that. Give me another boost. Hey, go Shinotic and Shrimp Sap me. Yeah, I'm about to say. Go Shinotic and Shrimp Sap. Let's see how that works out. Um, but yeah, we'll take that. I don't know if that crit mattered on Musharna. It's a really bulky Pokemon. But at the same time, look how little my Shadow Ball did. Come on. There's no way that wasn't Spadef, right? I'm, I'm, I'm more so trying to convince myself than, than you guys. Musharna. Yeah, it was Spadef. It was Spadef. Oof. Dog. But I have Torterra, which is why we have it on the team. Uh, no ground type besides Dog, which I have Torterra, so I'm not really concerned about. 
uh, if I lead off, I'm pretty sure my Volturn core is going to be really nice versus this guy, but I also think his Venusaur is going to blow me away. Uh, once Fortress is gone, I kind of destroy him with Stack Attacker though. So going towards that, I think that leading off with Raikou gets me the best way to get there because Fortress is amazing versus me. He leads off with a dog. I always go Torterra on the Thousand Arrows. I don't risk the speed tie. This guy's crazy and click Glare. <laughs> Whoa. Is he really trying to 1v1 me right now? This is not Zygarde complete. Am I going to be 1v1? I might be. Okay, no. You're not going to beat me 1v1, dude. Stop. Dude, this is not the other Zygarde. There is no way I lose. I might lose to this. Hold up. How much a thousand arrows is going to do? Oh, I thought I did 10%, but it did 25%. It's just that Zygarde has a 10% in its name, so it kind of scared me. Yeah, I'm beating this. Oh, it, it scared me. And this is great if he gives me this because... Man, I would have loved Earthquake damage. Would have broken its 30. His 30 is obviously broken, but I, he had no way to switch into it. Basically, if he gave me that, I could have beaten it 1v1 with... Uh, I could have beaten him 1v1 with Raikou just clicking Thunderbolt. So I click Shadow Ball here. Uh, he stays in with Fortress, which I think is a misplay. But it, uh, it, it worked out, obviously. I'm going to click Shadow Ball again. I don't care. And he sacks Zygarde, which I think is another misplay. Because now I can Volt Switch around. Granted, Thunderbolt and Volt Switch are resisted by the majority of his team. But we take those. Tyrantrum comes out. It's probably just going to head smash. Torterra has no use besides taking that thing on. As he Dragon Dances again. Is this thing Ice Fang? Fire Fang. That's not going to KO me. I'm big Torterra. Oof, and I had Flag on a Revenge Kill, which is why I was less worried about this. And Dragon Dance again? That's a good play. Look at Torterra. <laughs> did I uh, Ionex? I'm trying to I'm trying to stay away from Ionexing a hundred times. Okay, I did not Ionex in this game. I did not Ionex in this game. There you go. First Ionex. If I look back at it, I bet you I can like zoom in and be like Ionex right here. I know that people that because when you watch him versus your recording, you guys obviously see a lot more than me. I Oh, the dreaded sticky web matchup that I absolutely hate to fight. That I absolutely hate to fight. Um, I don't want to do this. I mean, look at stack attack and look at his team, right? But very little opportunity to actually set up. I'm also super weak to uh, to, to this, especially if it's Super Sonic Sky Scribe. The Krasma messes me up, man. I gotta I gotta know the stack attack account. Oh, right here. Uh, that, that's fine for me. I don't care what type of set you are. UU offensive trick room. Trial ball. Underwebs it should do more, right? Or actually, yeah, it's 93 base power, so it'll be even less. Let's let's. Let's make you. Let's give you like a one. Yeah, it's like 150. That's not what it would be. It'd be like more like 15. But uh, okay, Raikou initially just to vault switch around. Like he, he's gonna lead off with a Rackernid, right? Like you're gonna get up webs versus me. I think that was. I don't think I could have stopped that. But uh, I'll vault switch here. If he goes out into, I forgot about this boy. Uh, I was gonna say if he goes out into the Rhyperior, I'd be okay. But <laughs> this is actually a legitimate threat, huh? I can't, I want to go hard flag on, but I know I'm about to get Ice Punch too. Because Ice Punch is just a better play. I'm going I'm to pivot from Florgus into flag on. Because I think he'll uh, Earthquake here first, and then Ice Punch. Alright, here's the pivot. Y'all think the Ice Punch is coming? Y'all think the Ice Punch is coming? Tell me right now. Do I have to do this? Fire Punch did 37%, man. That, is that Bandit? That has to be Bandit. That has to be banded, right? I'm fizzed out. That's banded, yeah. You get out of here. Yeah, get out of here. Show garbage. My loader kind of beats his entire team. If I'm being real. I'm Moonblast first on his webs and then get in my Milotic, but because because my loader can beat Man, this thing is such a problem. Like, honestly speaking, this thing is such a problem for me to break through. My Lilith doesn't have Toxic. Torterra's not going to appreciate Liquidation. I need a little... I still need damage on Rhyperior, too. Where do I set up Trick Room on this guy? Maybe Necrozma, if it's not... 
anything decent, but... I don't, I don't mind the toxic, that's whatever. I, I have refresh, but... Um, that is a tough one. I'm assuming he's dual stab as his last two moves. Hopefully he's not spider web, but that won't beat me either. Because I have haze and... Yeah, and I can't burn him though, that's the problem too. I can't burn him, I can't do any damage to him. If I had Toxic, it'd be better. I'll just throw off Scalds. Water Bubble is one of the best abilities. I can have three, four amazing... I can Haze here too and get rid of the speed drop too. But, um... How you gonna have three fantastic things, right? Resist Fire. Resist Burn. I get out of here. I have to go Stack Attack. I have no other pivot. Is it Earth Power? I mean, if it's Earth, I'm not set. I'm literally not setting up on any one of his Pokemon besides maybe Electivire, and I can't beat this thing even if it's Earth Power, right? Oh, thank, God. thank God that worked out. I, I was just accepting that, right? I couldn't beat that thing even if it went for, even if I went for any other attack. So, oh, big damage. He has a helmet. Why? Well, Photon Guys is his last move, obviously. I'm crushing you. I am crushing you. I don't even care if you go right here. Give me this thing. This thing is a problem. This thing is a huge problem. Big right here gonna come out. I'm more like, like I said, like five, eight, seven. There you go. Combo is 72 to 85%. It's worth trying to defog here. Uh, I don't think he'd Ice Punch ever. This dude. You know what's crazy? I'm pretty sure Torterra lives an Ice Punch from full. So I'm going to go for defog here. Uh, just because... Like, I'm, I'm actually... I'm actually, like, so sure you'll live this. I'm actually so sure you'll live this. Even though I'm kind of set up to lose to... Yeah, I knew it. Even though I'm kind of... Oh, okay. Bama. He can take this KO. Why'd you rock posh again? You trying to be faster than my stack attacker? In trick room? Like, what's, what's happening? Are you trying to set up what's... Basically, I'm not going hard into my Lodic because my Lodic is going to be my other end game. Uh, the problem is, I'm also pretty sure... This uh, Rhyperior, I can haze it, right? So I recover first and then I think I haze. So I haze first, just in case this goes sour. Ugh. No. Just in case this does not work out for me. Because um, I'm pretty sure he's a weakness policy of some sorts, right? I'm pretty sure this guy's weakness policy. I also think he might live a Scald because of his uh, solid rock ability. Is there a way I can break through this? You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to burn him. I'm either going to burn him or knock him out. That's what's going to happen here. And I'm going to have to stop tricking him later. That's it. I did 100%, man. All right. Well, that's fine. All right, period is gone, and I'm at a good a good percentage. Big old haunch girl comes out. Can anything on my team take a Z? I also think... Okay, let's, all, let's think about this, right? If my Lodic takes a Z... Which I think it might. Honchcrow, are you life or Brave Bird? Yeah, which means Z also does 70 to 82%. Uh, okay, so let's assume it's Z, right? And not life orb. So this is so this is this is plus one, right? This is plus one. So if it's Z, I can maybe take it. If it's if it if it's life orb and he gets a plus one and I switch because he gets the moxie boost. He'll knock me out. Anyway. So there is no... It basically depends on the Honchkrow set. I'm going to recover here. The Z also has to get the roll. Keep that in mind. Okay, he clicked the wrong Z though, I feel. I'm going to... I'm going to haze here and get rid of that. I'll live plus two Brave Bird. 
And he's drill pack too. I'm not even Brave Bird. Nice. Hey. Not bad. So Big Milo is going to take it anyway. Yeah, if that dude was any other one, like a Brave Bird, he would have had it. If he would have went for Z Brave Bird too. All right, so we just scald here. Probably going to bring out Rotom. And I'm pretty sure everything has been set up for my stack attack of the win. Electivire is an interesting play considering I'm going for a burning move. I don't think HP on Raikou will matter in this game at all. If he goes for Earthquake, great play, but I don't think it will matter. Then I just bring right back out my Lodic in volume. Yeah, good play, dude. Or not even my Lodic. I go Florgus and click Moonblast. I either get some damage off a of stack attack. Uh, I'm able to bring out... You tricking here? I think you're gonna trick. I'm going stack attacker. He missed. I'm, I'm gonna switch back. Did a good chunk too. Hold on, let's let's get rid of all that damage. <laughs> I like how Flurry's can one v one. I just couldn't risk. Uh, I couldn't risk Flurry's getting tricked because it beats his team. Like you eat a hit from Electivire. Zero pack did how much? If I get plus one, I'm pretty sure I, I'd want to stack attack up. So I can afford to uh, moon blast here. Yeah, that wasn't doing any damage anyway. Go ahead and give me that haunch crow. Uh, I'm also, like I said, I'm pretty sure I live every hit. At this point, I can. It wasn't a Krozma. Man, my Lord can just hate you. Get out of here. Hold on, guys. It doesn't even have that much attack. Or that much uh, uh, PP. Also, I might be faster than you. Don't know your set, but I might be faster than you. Hey, Yum. I just scald here, too. It's better to try and get rid of Rotom upon switching. And if I, if I get a burn on stack attacker, that means it's closer to being KO'd by Gyro Ball, so. Alright, he's more than likely going to go Rotom now, but. I think that's still in my best interest to. Because I don't want him locking himself into Earthquake or anything. That's in plus one Gyro Ball range. Gyro Ball did 60. Gets up Rocks. I don't think Rocks gave you an endgame of any sort. Uh, I would have always Morning Sun there, I feel. But. Oh, gets up rocks and gets in Rome. Nice. At this point, my Lodic is expendable. All right, well, he didn't think so. He can give me the cross and give me a barrel on that thing too. I'll, I'll be okay with it. Like I said, it was expendable. Uh, Florgus lives a hit from everything. <laughs> I just got an awesome story PM to me. Shout out to my boy, we read those crits. Shout out to my Lodic being such a beast, man. What's happening out here? He's going to go Rotom and go for... Uh... Yeah, he's going to go... Uh... He's going to Rotom and, and I guess try and win when we won with Trick. Cool. I have Haze spam. I'm also pretty sure Stack Attacker will take every... Oh, well, I'll take every hit with Stack Attacker. Maybe Trick would have gotten me. Maybe I should just went uh, Stack Attacker too. But I didn't want him Leaf Stormy. Right, the better play is just to go Stack Attacker, right? Or is it to Scald and then come back in with my Lodic and then Haze? Because I don't think I can lose to this thing. I'm going to Scald and try and go for a Burn. Yeah, Combine is whatever. I don't think I'll lose to a Floating Geyser. Oh, I got... I want to try and weaken, because like I said, I can always go out to my Lodic and spam Haze, right? And force him to attack me. Like, it doesn't matter even if I go hard, even if he goes for Photon Geyser now. Right? It's actually in my best interest for him to attack right here, because that, then he's in range of Gyro Ball um, with two turns of burn. Like, if he attacks right now and then I get in stack attack, uh, well, he didn't attack. I'm just going to click Haze. 
That's so cool. So basically, uh, I'll give you guys a story. Uh, so basically, my boy Weaver, those crits, he's a friend of mine, uh, very active on my streams as well, great guy, and um, he's uh, in the army, uh, and he said we got this new army guy working with us, probably less than a month so far, and uh, he didn't know anything about him, like what he was like or anything, but it turns out that he turns over to see my boy watching a Wi-Fi battle from me. I think that's just so cool. That's just so cool. But yeah. He only has four morning suns left. I don't want a gyro ball. A stone edge into gyro ball. Because I'll KO him. Alright, he messed up. He should have spammed morning sun. Moonlight, whatever. Whatever it was. I just think that's so cool. GG, dude. I think this dude had a, a way better matchup than me. I'll be honest, but... Hey, we take those. Big stack attack on once again coming through at the end. That's why I like. Oh, man. This looks like an... This dude's definitely... Yeah, I'd say this dude's definitely going for Rex. This would be a harder game. Uh, no ground type, though, which is absolutely fantastic for me. I'm going to leave flag on. Be uh, sorry, I didn't say my end game here. But I'm going towards the stack attack of sweep for sure, especially with wish support. Um, but I let flag on because if he let off a rose raid, it would be a lot harder for me to deal with. And this guarantees chip damage on Blastoise. Like if I let off a Raikou and he let off a Blastoise, he wouldn't stay in, right? At least by doing this, this guarantees damage. And I have like multiple Pokemon that can come in. So, for example, this. I can just wish here on Registeel, get in my Torterra and get in my Rocks. Rocks help towards an end game of Sakataka. I was going to Earthquake, but I was like, yeah, he has, a, he has this. He's, there's no way he lets me. So this is a problem. Um, I don't know how much Bug Buzz does to Florgus. As far as this Pokemon goes, it's mainly just a good pivot into uh, Raikou, I feel. I don't want Specs Florgus. I don't want this thing to be too KO by Specs Florgus, so I'd much rather just sack this thing. I'm assuming this is Specs. Yep. That's fine. Uh, like I said, I didn't want an end game. Or I, I don't think Torterra was very useful besides getting up rocks. Uh, and I already got the damage I need on, on Blastoise for Constant to Crush. So this is really good for me. Uh, this could be Bloom Doom. It more than likely is. Mm. Bloom Doom switchins. Flygon is probably the more the most expendable. Because Raikou is still useful for Thunderbolt. As you click Leaf Storm there, I'm okay with that. I can just U-turn and sack this. I think this thing will be good as a sack because it stops the rapid spin as well. And we're just gonna click Specs Thunderbolt. Uh, if he goes Red Steel, that's fine too, because I can always um, first off I have pressure. And secondly, I can always bring out my this this is be, this thing being weakened is amazing, uh, but I can always bring out my um, my Florgus and Wish Pass to it. Oh, and I get a full para right there, which is amazing for me. Rosary comes out. I'm assuming you are Scarf. Goes for Leaf Storm there. You literally have to be Scarf, right? That, that, that's just it. I'm setting up a trick room now. Yep. Now. Hmm. This thing is a problem with its scarf, but I, it can't beat me with Sludge Bomb in the end game. So I'm a, I'm a Stone Edge, uh, just in case you want to go hard Arcanine as I miss on the Cresselia coming out. I mean, I got full pair on Registeel, but that miss is big because now my Gyro Ball will knock him out. Yep. Nice. Okay. So we're going to go for Wish here. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have, I don't keep rocks in this game, but I'm going to play super aggressive and get in my Raikou. I don't care if he Aura Spheres, because I can get in my Florgus now, but I, I was trying to be really aggressive there, so I might have cared a little bit that he Aura Spheres. But I think between these three, I might still be able to win, depending on the Arcanine set, of course. If it wasn't Z, if it wasn't Z Rosa, it's Scarf the way he's playing. I really wish I had the Stone Edge, because I could have Gyro Balled. And knocked it out. I only stone edge because Arcanine had Intimidate in my thought process, but it didn't have it. So, uh... 
At this point, I think I have to do this. Because I'm pretty sure he's Gigavolt Havoc. I'm pretty sure he's Gigavolt Havoc. Thanks for critting me. Push up here. I'll bring out my Lodic because my Lodic can take a Gigavolt Havoc. And this is a losing game right now. So I'll recover right now on the Gigavolt Havoc. Yep. Yum. Going to recover up. Cover up once more. I mean, you could try and get rid of the hazards if you want, I guess. That's your play. Yeah, hitting that Stone Edge would have been GG. But Stack Attack, I just won. Dark Pulse does nothing. Cover up. As Big Rose Ray comes out. I live a Leaf Storm. Um, my Lodic lives a Leaf Storm from Scarf Rose Ray. And minus two does how much? So I have to recover. I live two. I don't want him Sludge Bomb. He might spike though. Like I said, I live that. I live that always. Always live that. Well, I live that majority of the time. I live two always. So it's better to get rid of Rose Raid's Leaf Storms, I feel. Uh, it's in. God, it's in. I don't know how to deal with this mod. I'm not sure what I have to do here. What's my end game for this guy? Because this this is a this is a wrap. This Florgus can beat a lot naturally, and this having access to uh... I'm gonna recover once and see. I did nothing. Hold up. Wait, I eat that. Whoa. Okay. I mean, if he gets a spin up drop, I'm messed up, but. Otherwise, I think Skull 2 it KOs. Well, now it does. Let's get crits. That's for death drop. Don't spin death. I think Florgus eats this a lot better than what you eat this. Florgus did not eat that well at all. My god. I need my Lodic alive, though, because it's my, it's my Arcanine answer. All right, let's pray here. That's just it. Too bad the dog blows me back. Crit. Oh, wait, wait. Crush. <laughs> no! I can't believe I actually won this game if I landed my, uh, if I landed the Stone Edge earlier, man. I'm so sad about that. Oh, well. That's my fault for risking it. I should just gyro balled. I just if it was intimidate Arcanine, I didn't want you know I didn't want that to be the case. I wonder if my Lodic can beat this one v one. Like I know I could beat this one v one. Excuse me. I wonder if I could beat the rest of his team one v one. I gotta dodge some leaf storms and stuff though. Uh, I really won if I hit that Stone Edge. That's crazy. Like, Crest would have been... Crest was so low, right? Why was Crest low in the first place? Oh, I U-turned on it. That's why. Like, why was it 70%? And that would have done about 30. And then Gyro Ball would have done the 58% that... Or the 47% that you guys saw. And Fordingtons. What are you thinking about, buddy? You won. I don't have enough recovers to beat your team. I do not have enough recovers, my friend. Dude? Yeah, I do. Because huh. I need to be a full deliver hit from Rose Raid. I mean, I can always dodge Rose Raid at least once. I can go off dodging once. Uh, this takes three recovers to be at full. I, I can't be at full, period, I think, in this game. Why did my Lodic. Oh, because my Lodic has higher HP. Duh. I was like, why did my... It barely has higher HP, though. Why did it take it so much? The floor just barely take that. I'm going to go off two Leaf Storm misses. That's basically it. Oh, or at least one more Leaf Storm miss. Because I, I need a burn on Rose Raid 
to beat it. Like, I, if I recovered there, I don't think it would make a difference. He still needs to miss. Good game, dude. Good game. Legitimately think I had that if I hit Stone Edge, but that is Pokemon. Thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, I mean, I got a, like I said, I got a full pair. Of, I got a pair of full pair on Red Steel, so it was payback for it. Um, but hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Meloetta. Goodbye, friends.